guys, it's me, Miss Norris, and today I'd like to share a fun read aloud with you of the story, Iris Leaps Over. The story, Iris Leaps Over, was written in 1972 by Bernard Weber, and it tells the story of Ira and his very first sleepover. If you're ready to hear the story, I'm ready to share it with you. Here we go. Ira Sleeps Over. Ira was invited to sleep at Reggie's house. Was I happy? I had never slept at a friend's house before. This is Ira and his friend Reggie has invited him to sleep over and he's super excited because he's never had a sleepover before. Have you had a sleepover? I know I did when I was a kid, but maybe not until I was a little older. But I had a problem. It began when my sister said, are you taking your teddy bear along? Taking my teddy bear along, I said. To my friend's house? Are you kidding? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Of course I'm not taking my teddy bear. So he's great. He's excited until his sister says, are you taking your teddy bear? He says, of course not. And then she said, but you've never slept without your teddy bear before. How will you feel sleeping without your teddy bear for the very first time? Hmm? So this sounds like an older sister who maybe has had a sleepover before, and she's kind of giving him a hard time. You've never done it before. Aren't you scared? Is it going to be creepy? I'll feel fine. I'll feel great. I'll probably love sleeping without my teddy bear. Just don't worry about it, I said. Who's worried, she said. So Ira makes it clear to his sister, he's not hes not going to feel worried. He's, maybe he's going to love it. And she said, I'm not worried. Who's worried? Nobody. But now she had me thinking about it. Now she really had me thinking about it. I began to wonder. Suppose I won't like sleeping without my teddy bear. Suppose I just hate sleeping without my teddy bear. Should I take him? So now he's thinking about it. Maybe I should. What if, what if I don't like sleeping without him? Maybe, what if it's horrible? Maybe I should just take him. And look how cute he is. I would take him. Take him, said my mother. Take him, said my father. But Reggie will laugh, I said. He'll say I'm a baby. He won't laugh, said, his mo said my mother. He won't laugh, said my, my father. So Ira goes and talks to his mom and dad. And they say, take it. They're not gonna, he's not gonna, he's your friend. He's not gonna laugh at you. I think moms and dads usually have pretty good advice. He'll laugh, said my sister. I decided not to take my teddy bear. So everyone except for his sister says, he won't laugh. And he, she says, he'll laugh. He's going to laugh so hard. So even though he looks a little worried, he still says, I'm, I'm not going to take my bear. That afternoon, I played with Reggie. Reggie had plans. Big plans. Tonight, he said, when you come to my house, we're going to have fun, fun, fun. First, I'll show you my junk collection. And after that, we'll have a wrestling match. And after that, a pillow fight. And after that, we'll do magic tricks. And after that, we'll play checkers. And after that, we'll play dominoes. And after that, we can fool around with my magnifying glass. Great, I said. I can hardly wait. By the way, I asked, what do you think of teddy bears? So Reggie is pumped. He has big plans for this sleepover. And then Ira is pretty brave. He says, what are your thoughts on teddy bears? But Reggie just went on talking and planning as, he, as if he had never heard of teddy bears. And after that, he said, do you know what we could do after that? I mean, when the lights are out and the house is really dark, guess what we could do? What? I asked. We could tell ghost stories. Ghost stories, I said. 
ghost stories, said Reggie. Scary, creepy, spooky ghost stories. I began to think about my teddy bear. Does your house get very dark, I asked. Uh-huh, said Reggie. Very, very dark? Uh-huh, said Reggie. By the way, I said again, what do you think of teddy bears? So Reggie ignored his Ira's question about the teddy bear and talked about other plans, including spooky ghost stories. And so Ira thought, I better ask again because Reggie's house gets dark and it might be extra scary without my teddy bear. Suddenly, Reggie was in a big hurry to go someplace. See you tonight, he said. See you, I said. I decided to take my teddy bear. So Reggie didn't really answer the question. He just had to get going somewhere. So Iris said, I'm going to take my teddy bear. Good, said my mother. Good, said my father. But my sister said, What if Reggie wants to know your teddy bear's name? Did you think about that? And did you think about how he will laugh and say Tata is a silly baby name, even for a teddy bear? He won't ask, I said. He'll ask, she said. I decided not to take my teddy bear. So he decided, and mom and dad made him feel pretty good about it, and his sister once again steps in and said, what if he asks you your name of your teddy bear? And and its name is Tata, and he says it's a baby name. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a grown woman, and I have a teddy bear. Its name is Huggy, and he hugs onto your arm. And maybe it's a baby name for a teddy bear, but I don't know. He's still my buddy. So Ira says, I'm not taking my teddy bear. At last, it was time to go to Reggie's house. Good night, said my mother. Good night, said my father. <laughs> Sleep tight, said my sister. I went next door where Reggie lived. So mom and Ira looks pretty happy. He's excited to go. Mom and dad tell him to have fun. And his sister is like, yeah, have fun. So he goes, it's just next door. You can see his parents are waiting here and he's just stepping across the rail. It's very close. Reggie is waiting for him and he's excited. They have big plans. Big, big plans. That night, Reggie showed me his junk. He showed me his flashlight, his collection of bottle caps, a chain made out of chewing gum wrappers, some picture postcards, an egg timer, jumbo goggles, a false nose and mustache, and a bunch of old rubber stamps and labels from his father's office. We decided to play office with the rubber stamps. You can see all the fun things that they did, the bottle top collection, the postcards, the funny glasses, bubblegum chains, and then all these stamps that say urgent, attention, second notice, rush, this side up. And they're having fun pretending to be grown-ups and playing office. So far, so good. After that, we had a wrestling match. And after that, we had a pillow fight. And after that, Reggie's father said, Bedtime. Already, said Reggie. Already, said his father. We got into bed. Good night, said Reggie's father. Good night, we said. So they played and played, and it was time to get in bed. Everyone said good night. Reggie sighed. <sighs> I sighed. <sighs> we should still tell ghost stories, said Reggie. Do you know any, I asked. Uh-huh, said Reggie. And Reggie began to tell a ghost story. Once, there was this ghost, and he lived in a haunted house, only he did most of the haunting himself. And this house was empty except for this ghost because nobody wanted to go near this house. And they were so afraid of this ghost. And every night this ghost would walk around this house and make all kinds of clunky, creaky sounds. A rump, a rump, like that. 
And he would go around looking for people to scare because that's what he liked most to do, scare people. And he was very scary to look at. Oh, was he scary to look at. So Ira thought he'd made it safe and sound. No, no spooky ghost stories. Then it lights out, Reggie said. Let's tell ghost stories. And Reggie's telling a pretty spooky ghost story. A lot of ghosts just, just likes to haunt people. Reggie stopped. Are you scared? He asked. Uh-huh, I said. Are you? What? Said Reggie. Are you scared? I'm, I'm sorry. Are you scared? Just a minute, said Reggie. I have to get something. What do you have to get? I asked. Oh, something. Reggie pulled the something out of a drawer. The room was dark, but I could see it. it had fuzzy arms and legs and was about the size of a teddy bear. I looked again. It was a teddy bear. So they're discussing whether the story is scary. And Ira's like, yeah, it's scary. And then Reggie gets up and goes to a drawer and pulls out something furry about the size of a teddy bear. And what? It is a teddy bear. Reggie got back into bed. Now, about this ghost, he said. Is that your teddy bear? I asked. What? said Reggie. Is that your teddy bear? You mean this teddy bear? Uh, yeah, the one you're holding, I said. Uh-huh, Reggie answered. Do you sleep with him all the time? What? Reggie asked, said Reggie. Do you sleep with him all the time? Uh-huh. Does your teddy bear have a name? Does your teddy bear have a name? I said louder. Uh-huh, Reggie answered. What is it? You won't laugh, said Reggie. No, I won't laugh, I said. Promise? I promise. It's Foo-Foo. Did you say Foo-Foo? Uh-huh, said Reggie. Just a minute, I said. I have to get something. What do you have to get? Reggie asked. Oh, something, I answered. So now that Ira's gotten to the, the bottom of this story, that Reggie does have a bear, and his bear's name is Fufu, and he sleeps with him every night, Ira says, I gotta go get, I gotta go get something. And Ira says, what? He says, don't worry about it. I'll be right back. The next minute, I was ringing my own doorbell. The door opened. Ira, everyone said. What are you doing here? I changed my mind, I answered. You what? said my mother. You what? said my father. You what? said my sister. She was still up. I changed my mind, I said. I decided to take Tata after all. I went upstairs. So he went next door. Everyone was like, what are you doing here? Even his sister was surprised. And he says, I forgot my bear. And he went right upstairs. And then right back down. Soon, I was down again with Tata. My sister said, Reggie will laugh. You'll see how he'll laugh. He's just going to fall down laughing. He won't laugh, said my mother. He won't laugh, said my father. He won't laugh, I said. So even though his sister keeps saying that Reggie's going to laugh, now even Ira's convinced that Reggie's not going to laugh because Reggie has foo-foo. I came back to Reggie's room. I have a teddy bear too, I said. Do you want to know his name? I waited for Reggie to say, uh-huh. But Reggie didn't say, uh-huh. Reggie didn't say anything. I looked at Reggie. He was fast asleep. Just like that, he had fallen asleep. Reggie, wake up, I said. You have to finish telling the ghost story. But Reggie just held his teddy bear closer and went right on sleeping. So Ira came back with Tata. And he says, I'm ready to hear that story now. But Reggie just kept on sleep, snuggled up with his Tata, with his Fufu. And just kept on sleeping. 
And after that, well, there wasn't anything to do after that. Good night, I whispered to Tata, and I fell asleep too. The end. And there's both the boys sleeping. Tata looks a little scared. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the story, Ira Sleeps Over, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click that subscribe button down at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified when there's new content. I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.